Hey guys, it's Diego from Gravitech, and today we're gonna to take a brief look at clearance requirements for personal fall arrest systems. How much distance is needed to stop a worker's fall safely? Clearance just means distance. In most fall protection classes, you're shown how to estimate clearance, but we like to take it a step further and perform live drop tests using mannequins and test weights and show visual models such as this guy. Poor fellow, wasn't even wearing a helmet. Estimating clearance can be complicated or very simple depending on the system and how it's being used. But the key word that's often left out is estimating. It's important to take clearance estimates with a grain of salt and understand all the inconsistent variables and safety margins that are included in the clearance estimate. And the reason I say this is because I'm often confronted with the conclusion that most fall arrest equipment is absolutely worthless if you're less than 10 feet off the ground. And the idea is that you're going to hit the deck before your equipment has even realized that you're falling. And that determination is usually from a very basic understanding of clearance estimates. It's not always the case, especially once you have a proper understanding of how the equipment works and performs. Or at the opposite end of the spectrum, there's an understanding that you got your harness on and you're tied off to an anchor point, so you're safe and protected. But that's not always the case either. As always, if you have any questions about fall protection and rescue, give us a call or you can contact us online I'll see you later.